Hello boys and girls, this is uh, Revit Magic and Tricks. In today's video we are going to talk about how to create a floor. Ok, now go to the tab Architecture and then find uh, the floor and select the floor. When we uh, draw the floor, we must know that uh, we uh, must have a closed boundary. Uh, if we have the open boundary and uh, then click uh, the finish edit mode, the Revit is say uh, lines must be in closed loops. You must close the boundary of the, uh, the floor. Uh, in Revit, uh, where for all elements uh, who have the boundary, and when we edit that boundary, um, the boundary is uh, B uh, for the default uh, setup. It's B uh, this magenta uh, line here. On the floor, you can see uh, these two lines also. Uh, that is the span direction for uh, our floor, uh, for our our structural floor. Uh, if we have uh, here and here uh, some walls uh, or uh, uh, some uh, columns uh, and beams our span direction is gonna be like this and our rebar it's gonna take in this direction if we want uh, to set that direction uh, like this just go to the span direction and select one of this edge uh, the boundary of uh, uh, the floor can be everything you uh, just click and but you uh, can't uh, have this if you go like this you click here and then go here to uh, split element split this and then go here to the trim and select this and this and this and this line and now uh, if we uh, go uh, with mouse to the one of uh, this edge and press uh, the tab uh, now we can see that our boundary is the closed boundary. For now we just take like this, for example. And when we click that, here in the section you can see the section of uh, that uh, uh, floor or in 3D you can see that floor. Now that is a flat floor. If we want to set some slope for uh, that floor, I just go to uh, CO for copy this. And now click here, go to the edit boundary. And here we can see the slope arrow. Click here. And uh, first click, uh, take the uh, start edge and then go to the end edge. Then select that arrow and you just see here in the properties. We uh, have a two uh, edit, two types of uh, how to create uh, this slope. First is the height at tail. What that means? Uh, this is a tail of that arrow and this is a head of that arrow. Uh, he says uh, level at tail. Uh, th uh, that is we choose the level. You can see here in the section level level one of the tail that is uh, uh, this point. And we can choose height offset of of that uh, uh, level. If we want to go up, we uh, be in the plus. If we go to the down, we go to the minus uh, uh, value. Just go here to the maybe minus 200. 
and we start with a 2 minus 200 from the uh, level 1 and then go to the level at head that is a uh, head is uh, this uh, this point uh, here we go to the level 1 and set the offset maybe 500 and then just go here to the finish edit mode and now you can see we have a slope for that floor like this uh, the second way how we can uh, the set the slope I just another copy this here and just stretch this I'm sorry okay if we uh, select this floor and go to the edit boundary now we can click again on this arrow and uh, choose here the slope now we can uh, set uh, the tail uh, the, the tail height mm, okay we uh, choose the same but uh, we now uh, choose the angle of that slope if we go here and set 30 uh, degree angle and set OK. If I go here to annotate and angular, you can see that is a perfect 30 degree angle. OK, that's uh, the point when we choose uh, the slope arrow. The another solution for uh, so to take a slope we can i just copy this original flat floor and when i just selected them you can see here the modify sub elements and add point add split line and add peak or peak supports that mean that means if we have under uh, that uh, floor some beam or some support for for that floor we uh, click to the modify sub element and now you can see this green dashed uh, line we can set the edges or or the points and set that uh, this is a little uh, blue number to set up or down uh, elevation now i just click for this uh, edge and set here to minus i don't know 300 and just go to uh, escape and now you can see here we create a slope if i go here to the measure and click here to here you can see that is a um, 300 millimeters okay that uh, look the same of this but if I click here and go to the edit add point I can add more point of that and go here to the modify and say this is gonna be plus okay this they uh, they say that very uh, very big uh, distortion of that uh, surface and now that is a uh, plus 100 we can set here to do i don't, I don't know minus 50 here to minus 150 and so on now just go to the escape and now you can see what we have here maybe you, we better see in the section and now uh, we are create uh, layers for uh, that uh, floor it's the same like we create uh, layers for wall in 
last video. You go here to edit type, in the structure go to edit, and here just insert uh, more layers. For example, I set a free layer and I create a material, free material. I just uh, set the cut pattern to be a solid fill for, for the better understanding. And here thickness, I don't know, and this must be 200 or 300 this is gonna be a 150 and this is gonna be a 100 and that's okay for example click ok now you can see better this is a flat floor this is a floor with a slope arrow and this is a uh, floor with a modify sub element but now if we want this to set uh, that we have uh, white this layer it's uh, be a flat slab and then the second yellow layer uh, it's gonna take this deformation only that layer we go here to copy and you just um, make a little uh, edit go here and uh, create a new type of uh, floor just go to the duplicate say ok and on the structure when we find that layer just go right and click the variable that means uh, the on the default the thickness of that layer it'd be 300 millimeters but uh, when we uh, take the modify sub elements that thickness it's be a variable click ok ok and now you see this Okay, that's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. If you uh, like this video, please subscribe my uh, YouTube channel, go to the Facebook and Instagram page like that and see you the next time.